Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be doing an early lineup build for the uh, NHL slate this evening. It's a rather full nine-game slate. Uh, we're going to be playing the 400, the penalty kill, as well as uh, several entries in the, the kick save. And we're going to go through the same process that we always do. Uh, again, I'm trying my best to uh, just give you some sort of repeatable process to, uh, to make you avoid having to come back to these videos all the time. Now, this is using the tools that are available on TrueDFS, um, and we're going to be using what the premium members get a hold of. But, you know, this is very similar to, even if you didn't have a TrueDFS membership or whatever, this is, you could do this when you have any, you have any real good set of projections and, um, and ownership projections as well. But, I mean, obviously, I, I, I like mine. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is again, this is the order. First, we're just gonna look through the team totals, then get, give ourselves an idea of what teams we imagine are gonna be the teams we're gonna to wanna to stack and get players from. Then we're gonna look at my sheets and see who looks good as individual plays and try to find uh, good individual plays that are on the same uh, line, whether it be even strength or power play or whatever, and try to build a, a lineup off of that information. And then what we'll do is we're gonna input all this information in the Saber Sim, which we've kind of done already, um, and run two sets of lineups. One, uh, using the Sabre score metric, which is a pretty good way of uh, building lineups, and also um, using the contest simulation tool, which uh, purportedly uh, tailors your lineups to the exact contest that you're attempting to play. So that's a lot, but you know we'll, you know, we'll take our time and get, kind of get through it, probably get you out of here within a half an hour, but we'll see. All right, so when you're looking at the team totals, we're, first of all, Let's see if there's anybody with a four or higher. Yeah, Pittsburgh's got a team total of about four. And then Dallas is almost four. And then who else? Not really anybody else. Florida's 3.7. I guess that's close. And then that's pretty much it. So those are probably going to be the teams that get targeted. Uh, that would be Pittsburgh and uh, Dallas and Florida, but we'll take a look. Let's go to our sheets and see what we have here. And I'm ranking these by currently by sheets value score, which is a combination of points per dollar and just regular fantasy points. Ownership projections are over here. We're not worried too much about that quite yet, but we'll get back to it. And again, this is the way I, I do it. The first thing that I notice is I try to notice who the top overall value is. And currently, it's it's Pasternak for Boston, and and unfortunately, I don't see any other Boston's in the top group here. So probably going to have to pass on the Boston stack here. Um, then you see Dallas. I notice there's not a lot of Dallas guys either. Actually, that's not true. You can get Hints and and Heskinen. Um, so those three all kind of appear here. But then what's really interesting is you get two Nashvilles right next to each other. They're also pretty expensive, those 7,100 and 7,200, specifically the goalie. But that is certainly something to consider. And then you have Florida, who I kind of alluded to as far as team totals go. And you have two Floridas right here. Uh, and you can pair those all with, with Barkov, for example. Now, while they're not all on the same line, they're certainly on the same power play lines. That is that is definitely something you can do. Um, what else? You have Fabian Zetterland, which is a good one-off at 4,100, excuse me, 4,000. And you have Hurdle on that same line. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. So these two can leave a really, really good value stack, whether it be a primary or a complementary to go with someone like Dallas or Nashville or something that's a little more expensive. So these two San Jose guys are very, very important value pieces, Hurdle and Zetterlin. They all, and they are, as I said, on the same lines. Um, so what, what do we want to do here? I mean, we could, we could probably attack this in many different ways and I don't want to go through all of them, but let's do, um, let's do a Nashville and then we'll do a, a Florida because we do have to hunt for both of them. As a matter of fact, Nashville, I mean, it's just a winger and a defenseman that's in the top. So let's instead do the Florida because we're definitely going to have to go to a power play line. 
um, because these guys are on not on the same even strength line as Barkov. So let's put these guys in for openers, and we'll see what we can build. And we're almost definitely going to uh, going to uh, use San Jose to complement them. But let's just see. Let's put in um, Florida, and this is oh my god, it's all part of the same late game. Uh oh. All right, so we're gonna go Carter for Hagee. We're gonna put Barkov in over here, and then we're gonna put in Kachuk right over here. So that's a three man. Let's uh, since we know we're doing it anyway, let's put those two San Jose guys in. It's game stack city here, right? Uh, so for Hagee and Hurdle. So we're gonna be able to do a nice four three or five two even. Um, with Florida and San Jose. Before we do it, let's put a goalie in um, so that we know what we're dealing with. And I like to, as I've mentioned before, just play the cheapest goalie that rates well. Bullmark 7,900, that's not bad. Let's go down a little bit more. Soros 8,200, 78. So it looks as though actually play Gibson, but that's all the way down there. Let, let's see if we can get in the uh, the the, the, you know, the goalie with the high the high win total uh win rate let's 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 see if we can get Omar in well it's not like that great because we're, they're at buffalo so now we have 4200 left to get some value it's not i guess it's not as easy as i thought right probably gonna have to go into the points per dollar rankings and see what we have here let's see um well you have josh anderson at 3500 that's something you have connor zary at 3100 for calgary and you compare that with nasim kadri at 5600 for calgary that's that's sort of interesting So let's do that. Let's put Kadri and Zari in and see what that gets us. Oh, no, we need a defense. Shoot. So we need to do one of these guys, either the Florida or the San Jose defenseman. And then we'll need two defensemen, actually. So let's see which of these teams has the better defenseman. More so the cheaper defenseman. Let's take a look. So Eklund is a wing. Okay, so four sling at 4K. It's not on the power play line, which is annoying. Let's just take a look at this. Florida defenseman, it would be Ekman Larson. He's 4,900. That's no bargain. We'll get back to him in a minute. Actually, let's put him in for now. Ekman Larson. So we're running out of money here. Probably going to have to dip down in goalie as well. Let's go San Jose defenseman. Kalen Addison, 3,400. That's actually not bad. That's probably what we're going to have to do. So we're going to go Kalen Addison. This is a full-on game stack. So this works. You know, you could do a 4-3. Florida, San Jose, game stack, and find some, you know, 4,400, right? Let's see who would be a good one. Let's just, again, let's just go straight from here. We, we, we could use any position, anything with 4,400 that we haven't used yet. Um, ooh, nothing looks that great. What the hell? Hmm, Interesting. If I can get up to, this is kind of annoying, isn't it? Anything even close to 40 something hundred? Hurdle we already used. Can we get up to, no, we can't get up to Heskinen because then we'd have to go down 1100 worth of goalie, which we can't do. We could go really cheap. Oh, we could do the uh, the Connor Gary, for example. So if we did that, who's the other guy from we were talking about from Calgary? Gary and 
Was it Lindholm? Hold on. Who are the two Calgary guys we're looking at? Zeri and Kadri. So if we put in, I think I know what we're going to do here. We put in here. Now we could go all the way up as far as um, goalies go, or we can upgrade to a better defenseman. Or we could do Nazim Kadri instead of Hurdle. So if we did that, now our construction is a little different. So now we're doing a 4 2 2. So maybe we can go for that third Calgary guy who would be, well, it would be Lindholm. But we don't need another center. It could be Backland. No, because he's not, no, he's the wrong line. It has to be a defenseman or a wing. Or just go up and goalie. Hmm. Let me see. So it's we have Verhey, Chuck, Larson, Barkov. I like that. We have a two-man Calgary with Nadri and, Z and, and Zari. And then we have two San Jose. So we just want to upgrade one position. We want to spend a little bit more, like 800 on either a utility from San from Mike right from San Jose or from Calgary. So what else from San Jose exists? Let me just see. Wait. Eklund, do we have him already, right? No, we don't. So we could just do this. So now we're playing the 4-3 with the one off of Kadri. And that makes sense. And we can upgrade goalie a little bit if we felt like it, but this looks good for now. All right, so let's save this one. And then before we go into the Saberson builds, let's take a look at the stack tool. It's not even a tool, it's just kind of just a, a display of what, uh, what stacks look best. And we rate them either by raw points over here on the left, uh, value, which is point per dollar here in the middle, or a modified stack, which is essentially sheets value score on the right. So let's see who kind of shows up all over the place. So starting with just modified, Florida and Dallas look like the two best. When you do by raw points, it's Florida, Pitt, and Dallas. And value, it's San Jose. So we're on the right guys. The Florida and San Jose certainly makes a lot of sense. So let's see if Saberson kind of agrees with us here. Let's... um upload our projections and ownerships to the site. These guys are out. Also, we probably have to update the projection. projections. No, no worries. Let's um, rebuild the lineups and see what Saberson comes up with. Now, Saberson usually does a better job of getting those top lines than I do. Like you, you might get like these Dallas's and, and Boston's and even the expense of Sam, uh, Nashville's maybe because we really didn't try to do Nashville. Um, I have a feeling that that's what's going to happen. We're going to get to Nashville. We're going to get to Florida and probably some San Jose. I think that's going to be the prediction. Let's see what actually happens. And so it looks as though we'd be getting, um, first of all, lots of four threes, five twos. I'll probably, we'd probably X out all these ancillary stack combinations. But yeah, as I imagine, a lot of 90% Nashville. Um, but then San Jose, Dallas, no Florida. That's interesting. Well, let's do the, uh, the contest sims. And now what we're going to do again, 
is we're we're running our lineups against this you know presumed field of lineups and, and the presumed field of lineups is based on on saber sim ownership now there's other ways to do that um but that's where it's based on not to mention the fact that you know it's it's taken into account how many players excuse me how many entries are in these tournaments and what the prize structure is and it's you know in the background trying to tailor our 5,000 lineups that we built were pre-built and put them in the right contests. So let's see what we come up with. All right, first of all, let's first look at the uh, the kick save. We'll sort by risk adjusted ROI. And interestingly, like a bunch of Anaheim. Uh, and then Calgary, who I talked about, and San Jose. So the Anaheim one, I wasn't expecting. But when it comes to, you know, to Sabersim building MME lineups, they usually tend to defer. They usually do a really, really good job of it. So um, one thing I will do is I will make this min unique two, kind of smooth things out a little bit. And we will just put those in the kick save. Whoops. There's a kick save like so. Um, when it actually comes down to what I probably will do is take a better look at this tech stack exposure. Make sure I'll just probably dump all these other guys. I'm um, just keep the four three five twos. Maybe a three three two, maybe a four two two. Let's take a look at the penalty kill. Penalty kill. This looks really. Um, standard, and we're going to put that in all in three different lineups that have that same structure. in the, the the qualifier, the blue line, and the penalty, so just for now. And we will just download those. We will enter them into our contests. We will be ready to go. And this is really what we do, especially with respect to hockey, um, pretty much every slate. Now, again, there's a lot that goes into it before we upload these projections. Right? Um, you know, because we do some tweaks, we do have some takes, and we up we boost guys and reduce them, whatever. But once you have your core set of projections, that's the process that I do to get my lineups in order. Uh, that will do it. Good luck, everybody.